Conor McGregor claims that he's going to be fighting Michael Chandler in June and Nate Diaz in September. That is complete BS because Dana White said a couple months ago that Conor McGregor isn't fighting Michael Chandler. Now, let's say that Conor McGregor actually gets these fights done. What would happen in these fights? Well, Conor McGregor has many disadvantages going into these fights. And the first one being is that he has been less active than both of these fighters. And not only that, but his latest performances against Dustin Poirier have been completely trash. And not only that, but Conor McGregor is also coming off a very bad injury. So in my opinion, I think that Conor McGregor gets completely destroyed by Nate Diaz and Michael Chandler. Now, realistically, Conor McGregor planning out his year for 2024 it is just all going to turn out to be another lie as a way to build people's hopes up for no reason and as a way to maintain and build his hype up even more. Because honestly, he's caught on Michael Chandler so many times now, even given specific dates that were never actually confirmed, it just all turned out to be false. So it's as if he just puts out information on himself and what he thinks and never actually talks to his opponents or his opponent's team or even Dana White. But it's not like it matters because even if that fight with Michael Chandler does happen at some point, like I said, it's not going to matter because it's not like he gets passed through Michael Chandler either way. Now, the Conor McGregor and AD is true as you could actually happen after the Michael Chandler fight only because that fight would definitely sell pay-per-views just because of the history that both men carry. But just like the Michael Chandler fight, this fight also has doubts of it actually happening only because we've been waiting for the Nate Diaz and Conor McGregor trilogy for around eight years now and it never happened. So why would it all of a sudden happen now when both men are not even active and don't even care about the careers anymore? So in the end, at least Conor McGregor gave some realistic fights that actually could happen and that actually make a lot of sense if Dana White, Conor McGregor, and the people that Conor McGregor called out actually wanted it to happen. But at the same time, we can't get too excited or trust anything that Conor McGregor says only because he has stated multiple things and they all turned out to be false.